Hey guys, Romy here. Please like, comment, subscribe if you're a first time viewer. If you're a returning viewer, thank you very much. And please like and comment on this video. This is my recap, my review for Big Brother uh, 18 episode 31. And so how this episode, 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 episode started off with, of course, now it's Victor versus Corey. And now Paul and Victor have to put in work. Paul and Victor devise a plan of how maybe we need to make it seem like Victor's really on his own and so they could use him. Paul's decided that he's going to go and schmooze with Corey and, um, Corey and Nicole so that he can have the other side of the house looking like he's playing Victor and abandoning him. Because you know they're Captain Sabo. <laughs> and so they're going to try and use that to their advantage because if they don't, Corey's going to stay in the house just like Nicole plans and we don't want that. We do not want that. For game purposes, it's definitely better to have Victor in the house because it's more entertaining. Corey doesn't do anything. Corey doesn't do anything except for win the occasional competition or do well when he needs to. And that's the annoying part. I'm like, you're playing a good game, you really are, but on a day-to-day -day basis, you're not interesting to watch, which is equally important. Now we're in the Big Brother house and Devon, Zakia, and Bridget all look like they've gotten a lot of sleep Really refreshed. Who comes through the door? Polly. They are ecstatic. They're like, oh my gosh, we're so happy to see you. And of course, that's not good because it's saying we're happy that you lost. And uh, they watch his video. And of course, he goes out during Victor's HOA show. It's like, shout out to Victor. Victor putting, putting you up. Shout out to Victor. Th good guy. Good guy. Good guy. Because Victor put out put up him and Corey, and they're like, oh, and your friend by association, which we don't care. Now, things heated up quickly because Devon was like, don't do it, don't do it, because Paul Lee was trying to make it seem like, oh, well, you know, compared to what you did, I mean, why are you even talking? It's just like, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't try me, don't try me. <laughs> Bridget was trying to, not trying, but saying how much of a feminist she is and how she doesn't appreciate someone like Polly and feel like Polly downs women and all of that. I don't think that Polly intentionally does that. I think he's one of those sometimes hypermasculine men who don't really know how to uh, deal with women when his ego is possibly bruised. So when they're watching Corey's tape and saw that Corey was, I mean, that Polly was eliminated they were ecstatic. They were happy that he was losing everything. They were just so proud. And then it got into this argument between Zakia and Polly, and it got so bad that Dave was like, "Okay, this isn't entertaining to watch anymore. Let's let, Bridget, come on, girls, let's go." So <laughs> Zakia was just like, "You're a B. You're a B. You didn't have my back. I had your back. Watch what happens when you go home. You actually get to watch things and see how things were going." He's just like, "Well, that's what I was trying to say. You, I had your back. I had your." How could you possibly have her back when you helped get her out? Every step of the way, you made sure to distance yourself from her so that if anything happened, it was like, okay, that was her, that was her, get her out, leave me in. You know what you did. You know what you did. Now, it's time for nomination speech. It really doesn't matter at this point because Victor goes home. Victor goes home because of James. So now we know who we want out next, James. If James wins, I'm not upset, but it's just like James gets on my damn nerves. So Victor is officially evicted. Victor is just like, you know what? I came back in, I had a second chance. That was amazing. And I got a whole lot farther than I originally did. So I wouldn't change a thing. Well, actually, no, I wouldn't change a thing because Paul was the brains, I was the brawn. I thought that it was gonna work for me. Apparently it didn't. So Julie was just like, so what if I were to tell you, you would have another chance to come back into this house since you didn't have the um, one-way trip, I mean the return trip, and he was just like, wait a minute, what? What? Por qué? Yeah! Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it! So, <laughs> he's super amped. I think at this point, they went and checked to see who had the return ticket. It was actually Paul. What a shocker. Paul was the first one to figure out the London clue, and so he got it. So shout out to him for that. Devon, right now, is actually saying she's okay with Paulie. Everyone is 
okay with Pauly because um, they had the weekend to just kind of talk over things and cool down. And I'm like, okay, that's all nice and well and cute, but... Oh yeah, and Pauly and Sakita did have sex. I forgot when, but it did happen. See how production has a great way of editing everything that we actually care about out? And they get a care package. The care package is, ta-da, you're back in the game. So now they're in front of Julie, and they see who's the fifth person on evicted, and they were all pissed. They're like, except for Pauly. Pauly's just like, oh. Everyone else is like, no, he got Pauly. We love him. No. <laughs> so it's like, house guest, uh, guess what? Meet your jury cast. They're coming back. Yes, so the jury joined the house guests because now it's time for them to play. It's a two, it's a um, competition that has, serves two purposes. One purpose is the jury member who is a wall competition where you have to hold on for as long as you can, essentially. And it's kind of like forest themed. Now, the thing with this, comp of course, it's going to be rain and all that going on. But the point of this competition is one, to select a new jury member to come back into the game. And um, the second purpose is, if that jury member stays on till the end, they will also be HOH. So that would be sick if that's what happened. Unfortunately, that's not how it played out. That's not how it played out, but it's okay. Because at least now, some of our faves have a chance to come back into the house. It's all well and good. So please like, comment, subscribe. Next, The um, episode 32 is up now.